this video we will demonstrate how to perform a rapid assessment on an unresponsive patient and introduce the acronym DCAP-BTLS. Unlike traditional patient assessments, patrols will perform a rapid head-to-toe assessment using the acronym DCAP-BTLS and looking for signs of life. These high-priority patients require multiple patrols to perform patient care and immediate transport to the closest appropriate hospital. Always try to obtain at least one set of vitals every five minutes and gather any information from friends, family, or witnesses. Keep in mind though, the patient is your priority. In this video, the instructor will first explain what DCAP BTLS stands for and then demonstrate how to perform a rapid assessment on an unresponsive patient. When performing your secondary physical assessment, it's important to remember the mnemonic DCAP BTLS to remind yourself what you're looking for. DCAP BTLS stands for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures or penetrations, burns, tenderness, lacerations, or swelling. Once we've conducted our primary assessment and determined the ABCs and apparent life threats, as well as called for additional resources, we can move into our secondary assessment, where we get a baseline set of vital signs and do a thorough head-to-toe assessment. We can start at the head using our DCAP BTLS mnemonic to help us as we go. Again, if necessary, we should have a C-collar or C-spine precautions in place at this time. Make sure to palpate all the facial bones, look at the eyes and the pupils if you have a light, as well as looking at the nose, the mouth, and the ears for any drainage. Move along the collarbones and along the sternum, as well as the ribs. Palpate all four quadrants of the abdomen, looking for rigidity. Check the pelvis, flex, and compress, and go down each limb, checking for pulse, movement, and sensory if the patient is conscious but more often than not, you'll just get the pulse if your patient is unconscious. It's important that you roll your patient, typically towards you, that way you can check the spine. If you leave the spine unchecked, you have missed an entire half of your patient. Don't forget that just because your patient is unconscious, that doesn't mean your sample and OPQRST, additional history, goes to the wayside. There could be bystanders from whom information can be gathered. The other thing that's important to do once you've completed your secondary assessment is get another set of vital signs. Constantly reassess your patient. Make sure nothing has changed. We should be preparing for transport at this time.